Uh, Abba, it's completely seems that there are double standards as far as such grave allegations of sexual harassment are concerned. One for Justice Ganguly as far as the center government, central government is, and other for a person those who they have uh, uh, now uh, you know nominated and have in fact given the Padma Shri award. Absolutely. Justice Ganguly had such a brilliant record. He was honest, he was upright, he did 2G and yet he was made to resign on a mere allegation. Yeah. But in this case we see like Professor Datta's case that uh, um, the Kapil Sibal's ministry at that time in 2005 had set up a committee to look into it, into this sexual harassment complaint and the committee said that it looks at the complaint in whole, not in parts and it is of the view that this is a sexual harassment case. Exactly. However, when the governing body of the Bose Institute did an inquiry, it said it is an administrative manner yeah. matter. So when there were aspersions were cast, I think Padma Awards being the highest civil awards, they should have maintained the standard of the Padma Awards and even if there was an iota of suspicion and that too when now the country is so super sensitive to women issues, uh, they should have not, uh, they should have been little more careful and not, you could appoint him as VC. That Absolutely. was an administrative manner, matter. But Padma Awards are the highest civilian awards yeah. and when there was uh, a case of sexual harassment, uh, I think the committee has uh, um, not been very uh, astute. Absolutely. Uh, let me go across uh, to uh, Mr. Roy uh, there in Kolkata. Sir, uh, when, when uh, even in fact the UGC guideline says that a person who is being appointed as the VC of a university, he should have impeccable record, should be above, uh, uh, you know, he should have very good moral standards, should be above scrutiny. But my question to you is that why didn't the HRD ministry not scrutinize the track record of a person who was being considered for such a vital position as the vice chancellor for the Vishwabharati University? Why was he in fact uh, made the VC of the university when he had such grave allegations against him? Mr. Roy, if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you now. Uh, in response to your question, I'd like to say that I have seen some of the documents over the case. Yeah. And uh, I have elicited the two following facts from the documents. While Professor Shushanto Dattagupta was in the SN Bose Institute, yeah. there was a charge brought against him hmm. and the documents show that the science and technology ministry decided yeah. that uh, there was a, a charge of sexual harassment hmm. against uh, Professor Dr. Gupta. That is, they determined that the charge was not a charge of harassment at the workplace generally or any other complaint, yeah. the complaint was one of sexual harassment. That's one. And number two, the Technology and Science Ministry decided at the time hmm. that Professor Dottagupta should hand over charge to the senior most professor yeah. in the SN Bose Institute. These Absol are the two facts of the case. Absolutely. Now, one, one thing which has to be noted in this connection, this is my gloss on it. Yeah. The minister in whose tenure these charges were brought was uh, Mr. Kapil Sibal. Yeah. And uh, the second uh, matter related to this is that Mr. Sibal was the Minister of uh, Human Resource Development during the appointment of Professor Dr. Gupta. Exactly. Now, it is possible, it is possible that Pro uh, Mr. Sibal had forgotten uh, the previous case, in which case uh, it would have been proper to go through the records more uh, seriously. Sir, but wouldn't it be simplifying it too much when and we say that the...